The change we're seeing from things like bringing in cloud, bringing in mobile, has really changed customer expectations on service and how the enterprise will react to them. So the big challenge for an enterprise architect these days is helping their organization change from this classic inside out view where we've got it all figured out in our hierarchy to one that turns their organization into an organization that is responsive to these customer pressures and can pivot quickly in response to those market pressures and give the customers what they need. The change of, of this outside in view does change the way you have to think about how value flows in your organization, that you really need to stop thinking about how you deliver internally or your internal metrics to really looking at how value streams start with the customer, figure out what that customer needs, what they'll pay for, what they'll, how they'll select your organization, and then turn that into steps for your organization to deliver on that value. One of the changes we've seen across the industry in response to these outside in pressures is the focus on what they call empowered teams responsible for delivery. A big change that we're seeing you know, in these ways of working, sometimes we call these digital ways of working, is in fact really focusing away from architecting as a form of you know, control on product release or governance of product release to actually properly architecting the enterprise so these teams can work effectively yet still be accountable to the corporation for success. So we have that right balance between the team autonomy to deliver the products and the need for those teams to actually work with the rest of the corporation and help it achieve its overall goals. When organizations try to strike this balance between the empowered team who is necessarily very focused on the customer and the overall enterprise needs, the things you see are making sure that the team itself understands its accountability to the organization, you know, how are they going to be measured, and particularly tying those measurements to further investment in the team. Obviously, we want to invest in the teams that are successful and we want to wind up experiments that aren't successful. Uh, the other thing that's really important is uh, there's a thing called the Dunbar number, how many people you can kind of know. And teams work very effectively with that kind of number of people, but obviously in a bigger corporation you have to have other functions, you know, finance, you know, sometimes uh, the IT infrastructure support. So the other thing we're seeing as a real role for enterprise architects is designing how those teams are actually going to work together, how they communicate, what's the right structure for them to organize with, making sure that the teams actually have the skills to actually do that kind of communication. Classically, organizations have hierarchies, they have uh, management structures, they have governance structures, ways of working and things like that. And the team idea doesn't always fit with those. And so you see failures in terms of organizations that haven't really changed their business model towards supporting these empowered teams or failing to overcome their legacy of outside-in planning says, you know, we're going to be here, therefore, these products. The other end of that spectrum is making sure that the teams are actually accountable because uh, you know, they'll work with their customers, they'll get very strange ideas from the customers, and that might not be where your corporation wants to head. So you've got to make sure that that accountability is clearly communicated and tied into the ongoing investment. The foundation of all these changes is good architecture thinking, and we always look to the TOGAF standard for this. And the new TOGAF 10th edition standard is full of information on how to achieve these changes. Particularly, I'll note the supplementary material that is in the TOGAF library, the TOGAF series guides, really focus in on some of these, on things like agile architecture, capability model that I referenced earlier, and many other things.